let's continue so i started praying oh god please give me more strength god please heal me don't let me go to the doctor please heal me yourself because hmm. i knew my body broke down because of the battles like the battles that i've been going through at work at home everything i'm working on like god said it's time to rest so we can fight again tomorrow god said we have won the battle now it's time to rest because there is another battle we need to fight i am preparing your body for the next battle wow like i'm so grateful to god like i feel so much better right now ready to face issues at work home my purpose preach dance write encourage others to have a relationship with god that god has given me new strength new power new ideas new creativity the devil is trembling the devil is afraid of me and god hmm. so god is advising you today take time to rest today and get ready for the battle in front of you remember you are not alone god is with you remember king nebuchadnezzar when he threw the three men into the fire shadrach meshach abednego he said he's seen four men in the fire the last person looks like god yes god is with us we are not alone can you imagine the fire did not burn them they didn't even smell of smoke hmm. like the people that they, that threw them into the fire the fire burnt them hmm. we are serving a powerful god god of battle god will help us win this battle we will fulfill our purpose everything god created us to be we will be the battle is of the lord so work with god and possess your possession there is time to rest there is time to fight last week was my time to rest with god now this week is my time to fight with the help of god flow with god we serve a flowing god listen to your body when your body is showing signs ask god what should i do is it rest time or my body is just resisting to work god will direct you god will lead you god will help you overcome every resistance glory to god so god is our sweet healer hmm. i love you god like hmm. i praise and worship him he's the reason i'm alive he's the reason i get out of bed it's not money, degree, job, manager that gets me out of bed. No, no, no. If it was, I must have committed suicide a long time ago. Hmm. It's not even purpose that gets me out of bed. It's my relationship with God that gets me out of bed. Like when God takes away everything, talent, purpose, everything, what will remain? My relationship with God. The fact that I get to hear God's voice, the fact I get to smile with God, the fact I get to communicate with God, that is all I live for. I live for God. Living for God, with God, God living in me, that is a powerful place to be. That is a great revelation. Living for God is more powerful than anything in the world. God is the reason I live. Like when you start living for God, it changes everything. You, like seriously like when you stop thinking what people think about you it changes your perspective on life you are more stronger with god you are more authentic with god you embrace your uniqueness with god you do not fit in with other people your talent your idea your creativity with god will come alive without caring what people think you are living heaven on earth god is our healer even after the earth body you know, even after the other body left, I stay having back pain. Hmm. God advised me to go into the shower, let the hot water touch my back, put rub, pray on it. Before I woke up the next day, the back pain has gone. What? <laughs> I was shocked. Like God healed me sharp, sharp. Like I was thinking that, oh, maybe the back pain will stay for days. But when I woke up, I did not feel that pain. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God.